to my part of the video that becomes a forensic show. I caught this object right here. It was one hour apart and there's nothing after that hour. It's just showed up on this one picture. They've been looking at the moons, right? And checking out the moons coming from the northwest to the east, crossing from the south to the northwest. Big distorted moons, you know? So if you keep watching, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So hang on, all right? Uh, this one right here is um, noise level. And I got it on noise level after two. Just to get up this way. So as you can see right here, see that little dusty object? It's a little UFO -y thing. Go back up here to magnifier and I'm gonna go eight times magnified there you go and as you can see there's some type of like a top looking craft that's as close as I can get this picture um, it's quite a ways who knows how long it sat there and watched but an hour later it's totally gone so and that's at Burlington uh, Chittenden County United States Northwest and there's your concord, uh, coordinates. Um, so you see stuff with this device that you won't see normally. Let's go down to level sweep. Now, if you remember me, level sweep will show you the light source if it's coming from the object. Okay, oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Um, there it is. The light is on top of the vehicle. You can see part on the bottom, a little dot of red. So you know, you see these things, you get used to them. I get quite used to them, uh, believe it or not, quite used to seeing them. And then this Grantus, you can see it's clearly a, an object right there. Even the letters have like an object. Now I didn't put that on the screen, that's not CGI. See like this would be CGI right here, these letters, these computer generated words, right? So, but I can tell you right now, I just looking at this spot with the rest of the spots today and I'm getting moon stuff non-stop. Okay, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Um, principal component shows it totally blacks it out. That's really good, obvious. You know, if you want to see the difference. Component one. Immunization, there it is. It's just all by itself out there. It's real. It's the only thing out there other than the stars. It ain't picking up the stars. And there it is again under uh, distance. And then the component, it's right there. I'm just blocking out the noise. All that quirly, squirrely stuff is noise. And there it is. So we go back to just our magnifier at 8,000 cent. And that's what you get, craft. You get a craft like no other craft. Okay, so there you go. Real UFO guys. Talk to you in a minute. Now, as I'm making this video, I multitask. So I'm in Alaska. Not Alaska. Russia. And I catch that big black spot in the corner right there. You see it? You see it? You see it? Now watch. Now honestly, folks, I cannot remember where I caught this picture. But I kept thinking, it looks eclipsed. <clears throat> it's making the sand pick up a lot of red. Anyways, I'm zooming in, see what we can see. I slowed it down so I can make it last. Sometimes you only see these reddish splotches in the sky. I used to see them with Jeff P all the time and WSO. They kind of dropped off of uh, showing this. I don't know if they believe it anymore. But anyways, I like it. It's nice. It's crazy looking. Comment what you think it is. I mean, if you think it's a bug, say a bug. But if you think it's a lens flare, say a lens flare. But if you think it is an eclipsing planet and not CGI, say so. See something, say something. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday here. I'm going to try to put this video out by tomorrow night. Depends on how much more stuff I could find to add to it. Now this is my capture, um, the forensic was my capture, and I'm going to show you one more thing I think here, okay, so enjoy the show, make sure you share it because nobody's going to see it unless you share it, 
Facebook, you know, some of these videos that are like this, I might get about 500 hits. But then sometimes, you know, I could do this alone and maybe get 20,000 hits. So anyways, it's not about the views. It's about waking people up. If you haven't gotten a clue of that yet, then call on Jesus. It'll open your eyes. I'll show you here. It's Carla Max's sunset, and then it goes into a pink eclipse-looking moon. No, no lie, no lie. Look at that. So it goes from sunset to that. I'm doing it backwards. The next shot, you get this. You know, it's out of focus a little bit, but and right before that, you get that. Now, is it? Okay, it looks like the sun setting there. Okay, and the question I have is it? A sun simulator decided to become a moon simulator. You comment.